I've, yeah, I've been on uh, I've been on James Gunn's head too. Uh, you know, I see this Guardians of the Galaxy coming out. And I'm like, all right, y'all got you know. I've been me and you go back and forth on Twitter, man. Don't you know? Don't forget your boy. Like that's really what you got to do. It's all about uh, connecting and uh, you know putting shit out there in the universe and and your connections who you know and, and yada yada yada. But I remember Sonic Adventure for the Dreamcast. That's like one of those like day one things that they they pumped with that system. I was like, this is a great. And to this day, I don't know a Sonic game better. The Sonic Adventure yeah. and, uh, to this day, and um, you know, Sonic Adventure 2 showing, uh, showing like when I first saw Shadow, I was like, Oh, this motherfucker is hard, you know, the black Sonic. Yeah. It was like, um, yeah, that that that's something that I would love to to jump on. I've, I've always been so heavy on wanting to be the guy who gets video game movies right. Not just as an actor, but I want to create them. I went to USC to be a screenwriter so I could write scripts for video games. Everybody else is in there for movies and, and television shows, but in my mind, I'm like, I need to figure out how to hone in on the, the writing, that writing feeling that I wanted with rap. I realized that, you know, through, through the right teachers, I, I I realized that it was just a love for writing that I had. Yeah, yeah. And so I flipped that right before uh, I had to, I, pr- I really applied late to USC, but I ended up getting in there. Was, you know, my dad to, had to, we had to talk to some leader of the board and all this stuff. And, you know, I had to apologize for my tardiness and like all this type <laughs> shit. And, you know, they squoze us in for the last um, orientation. It was like the next day type shit. And I had to apply not only for USC, but you have to apply for the screenwriting division. Right. And so you have to get accepted twice. And like, yeah, you could get into USC, but if I don't get into the cinematic arts, then I'm just here, you know, with my nuts in my hand, just trying to figure out what to do with life. Right. And so, you know, I, I had got my love for storytelling from video games. It was Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts and like Final Fantasy and like all those shits where I, I was just so enthralled. I cared about characters so much. And I was like, this is what I want to do. And so I, I found I found an avenue through USC to hone in on, on that storytelling. And video game movies, like they get the short end of the stick. They are cash grabs. And it's because they know we're going to go anyway. Like, and it, it is what it is. Like, Tomb Raider is the queen of video games. Lara Croft is the queen. And, you know, her the movies are fun. Like, you know, shout out to Angelina Jolie, one of the goats. Shout out to Alicia Vikander, who I, you know, who I love uh, uh, with Ex Machina and all that. And, you know, I just, I, I just feel like those huge titles don't have to be popcorn movies. They could be films. They can be like award-winning films. And I feel that there is a disconnect with those higher ups who green like these films and, and actual gamers. And so that was always my goal. It still is my goal to kind of be the go-to for, to, you know, to speak to gamers through film and to give us something instead of just watching a game that I've already played you know, tell a real story. And so that that's uh that's always been my mindset. So to hear you say the shadow thing, I'm about to pump that out my social media like crazy. <laughs>